Hi everyone and welcome. Today is uh, Wednesday, October 20th. And I'd like to pick up today uh, what we were talking about last week. I was talking a little bit about St. Ignatius Loyola and uh, periods of consolation and desolation in our spiritual lives. As I mentioned last week, we have a relationship with God that is a dialogue. You know, sometimes we speak to God and sometimes we need to be quiet and allow God to speak to us. And he speaks to us through the scriptures, through nature. He speaks to us through um, other people. And so today, I'd just like to pick up on that rule of, of, of St. Ignatius where he mentions about consolation and desolation. And I thought maybe today i just share the whole rule with you and uh, we can kind of dissect it a little bit. So here's his fifth rule on uh, discernment of spirits. These are St. Ignatius's words. In time of desolation, never make a change, but be firm and constant in the proposals and determinations in which one was the day preceding such desolation, or in the determination in which one was in the preceding consolation. Because as in consolation, the good spirit guides and counsels us more, so in desolation, the bad spirit, with whose counsels we cannot find the way to a right decision. One of the greatest gifts I think that he gives us, Ignatius, is when he says, in times of desolation, we should never make a change. See, in consolation, we're hearing the voice of the Holy Spirit. Consolation is a time where you feel the warmth of God's love. You feel close to God. Things seem to be clicking. Your prayer feels very rich. It's a wonderful time. And we really do hear in those times of consolation the voice of the good spirits, as Ignatius says, the voice of the Holy Spirit. Conversely, when we go through times of desolation, go through times where God seems very absent, temptations are horrendous, you don't feel any warmth of God's love, any desire to pray just isn't there, it's during those times when we should not listen to the voices. Because the voices during desolation are very negative. And that's why one of the greatest gifts I think that he gives us is never make a change in your life, any big decisions during times of desolation. It reminds me of a story I think I might have shared with you some time ago of a devil who was going to retire from his services. And so all the devils got together and he was going to auction off all of his belongings. And he had a bag there and he started pulling them out one by one to auction them off. The first one he pulled out was pride. Oh, that got a great price in the auction. Pulled out lust pulled out greed, and all these things were going on and on. And finally, toward the end, the devil said, I only have one more thing left in my bag, and I'm going to keep it for myself. Because this is the one thing, without fail, that always gets human beings over to our side. And in the bag, what was left was discouragement. When you and I are in periods of, des of desolation, it's so easily easy for us to get discouraged. And all the promises we made, maybe in, in consolation, in consolation you say, you know, I want to be more prayerful. I'm going to let go of, you know, television late at night and go to bed earlier and get up earlier for prayer. I'm going to make a visit to the Blessed Sacrament. All those beautiful things that we do under the grace of the Holy Spirit. Now in desolation, that vanishes. We start to think, why bother? Why should I stop in church? It's not going to do any good. And even sometimes the voices get deeper. You'll never amount to any good Christian. Look at your attitude right now. That's the voice of the evil one. Don't listen to it. Don't make any decisions, any changes in our lives during those times of desolation. That's the gift that St. Ignatius of Loyola offers us. So I'd like to just suggest this week, try that in practice in your own spiritual life. Because sometimes periods of desolation and, and consolation can happen in the very same day. You can wake up in the morning and feel consolation and close to God in your prayer. By later in the day, you're like, you just want to quit. You don't want to pray. You want to throw your, your prayer book across the room. Take some consolation in knowing that that's rather normal in the spiritual life. What we need to do during those times of desolation is to adhere to those things that we wanted to do in consolation. Keep praying. Don't give up. Make the visits to the Blessed Sacrament. Pray your morning prayer, your evening prayer. Give up the late night TV. Don't listen to voices that say, oh, that's stupid. Let's go do what I want to do now. So this week, we're all going to experience it. Consolation and desolation. If you're going through a period of consolation, thank God for it and enjoy it. It will pass, but it's a gift while it lasts. And keep praying. Times of desolation, 
this too will pass. Don't listen to the voices that tell you to quit or they're not going to amount to anything or these temptations are too hard. Adhere in desolation to the promises you made in consolation. Keep praying. Hold fast. Don't quit before the miracle happens. No matter what we're experiencing this week, consolation or desolation, they will, both will pass. The main thing is to keep saying yes to Jesus no matter what we're experiencing. God bless you.